We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. The object, if it's technological, it would maneuver or it would release some mini probe. NASA issues emergency briefing after 3i Atlas splits, with a second object now detected near Mars. For the first time in NASA history, deep space itself became a hazard zone. Seven operational spacecraft orbit Mars right now. Billions of dollars in hardware, years of irreplaceable missions, all assuming space would stay predictable and empty. They were wrong. On July 25th, 2025, automated sky surveys detected something that should not exist. A companion object trailing 3i Atlas, moving in perfect synchronization, yet defying every known law of comet behavior. 3i Atlas didn't split near the Sunday. It didn't shatter under Jupiter's crushing tides. It broke apart in the cold, where temperatures hover at minus 100 degrees, where nothing should happen. And that's what terrifies scientists most. What could fracture an interstellar visitor that survived millions of years in the frozen void between stars? The answer may reshape everything we thought we knew about the universe beyond our solar system. At 7.30 a.m. Eastern on August 15th, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson walked into a briefing room that was supposed to be empty. Protocol dictated that emergency press conferences were reserved for imminent threats to human life or catastrophic mission failures. This was neither. Yet the tremor in Nelson's voice suggested something unprecedented was unfolding. 18 hours earlier, trajectory analyst Sarah Chen had been staring at her third cup of coffee when the overnight data stream lit up her workstation at Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The fragment's behavior had shifted again. What one internal report described as non-gravitational acceleration that violated every standard model of outgassing and solar radiation pressure. Chen picked up her secure phone at 2 a.m. Within minutes, she was briefing mission directors who hadn't slept in days. Behind closed doors at NASA headquarters, the decision to go public sparked intense debate throughout the night. Internal emails reveal a stark division between scientific teams eager to share their findings and mission planners terrified of premature alarm. The turning point came when Chen's latest models showed the fragment following a trajectory that brought it closer to Mars orbital space than anyone had calculated. Nelson's opening statement confirmed what the astronomical community had whispered for weeks. 3i Atlas had split, producing a secondary object designated 3i Atlas B that exhibited independent motion patterns and spectroscopic signatures unlike anything in our solar system. The room erupted when reporters pressed for risk assessments. Nelson's response was measured but unmistakably grave. No immediate collision threat but the fragment's unpredictable behavior made long-term predictions impossible. For the first time in NASA's history, an interstellar visitor had moved from scientific curiosity to operational threat. Shoemaker Levy 9 died in Jupiter's grip. Comet West broke in the sun's furnace. Atlas split in the cold, with no cause we can see. That's the mystery that's keeping planetary scientists awake at night. Comet fragmentation requires extreme forces, crushing gravitational tides, thermal shock that vaporizes surface materials and creates explosive internal pressures. These violent breakups happen in predictable hellscapes, where physics overwhelms the fragile bonds holding ice and rock together. But 3i Atlas fractured at one point, four astronomical units from the sun, where temperatures barely register above absolute zero no massive planets nearby. No obvious mechanism to explain why a nucleus that survived interstellar space would suddenly disintegrate. The fragment's behavior compounds the mystery. Ground-based spectrometers detect outgassing patterns dominated by carbon dioxide rather than water vapor. More disturbing, the fragment accelerates independently from its parent nucleus, suggesting active venting that current theory cannot explain. High-resolution imaging from Hubble reveals a diffuse coma 
that brightens and dims in irregular cycles. The spectral signatures show absorption lines that match no known comet composition, hinting at exotic materials forged in deep space and never before exposed to even modest solar heating. Most troubling is the fragment's structural stability. Rather than continuing to disintegrate as expected from a catastrophic split, 3. I Atlas B maintains coherence while exhibiting controlled velocity changes that suggest either internal mechanisms or material properties fundamentally alien to our solar system. Within hours of the NASA briefing, mission control centers across three continents shifted into crisis mode. At JPL, Flight Director Maria Santos found herself staring at scenarios no manual had prepared her for. A grain of interstellar debris traveling at 60 kilometers per second could vaporize a billion-dollar spacecraft on contact. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, orbiting just 400 kilometers above the Martian surface, required immediate trajectory analysis. Santos and her team ran emergency simulations through the night calculating intersection points between the spacecraft's path and the fragment's projected course. Fuel reserves limited avoidance maneuvers. Every adjustment risked compromising years of planned observations. European controllers in Darmstadt faced identical nightmares with ExoMars and Mars Express. Spacecraft designed for steady observation schedules suddenly needed rapid course corrections. Their aging systems were never built to handle. On the Martian surface, perseverance and ingenuity operated under communication delays that prevented real-time control. If debris impacted the atmosphere, creating ionization trails or dust clouds, contact could be severed for weeks. Autonomous emergency procedures were uploaded, preparing the rovers to survive alone. Traditional space debris models collapsed. The fragment's non-gravitational acceleration meant hourly position updates could become obsolete within days. Flight controllers found themselves writing new physics in real time, attempting to predict an object that defied conventional understanding. Current planetary protection protocols proved catastrophically inadequate. Existing guidelines assumed weeks of advance warning for asteroid threats. The fragment's behavior compressed critical decisions into hours forcing mission planners to choose between protecting spacecraft and maintaining humanity's only opportunity to study this unprecedented phenomenon. Within 72 hours of NASA's emergency briefing, the global astronomical community executed the largest coordinated observation campaign in history. Observatory directors abandoned years of scheduled research to focus on a single patch of sky. Galaxy surveys were sacrificed precious telescope hours burned. The European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope Array in Chile redirected four 8.2-meter mirrors from deep space observations to track 3i divided by Atlas B's faint signature. The decision cost researchers irreplaceable dark sky time, but the stakes demanded everything. At Mauna Kea, computer programmer Jake Morrison hadn't slept in 48 hours writing custom tracking algorithms as the Subaru telescope's adaptive optic system was hastily reconfigured for high-precision asteroid monitoring. The technical challenge pushed equipment beyond design limits, tracking an object moving at speeds no solar system target had ever required. Radio telescopes swept frequency bands, hunting for emissions that might explain the fragment's impossible behavior. Data normally processed over weeks was analyzed in real time as international teams raced against a closing observational window. Institutional rivalry evaporated. Observatories that jealously guarded telescope time began sharing raw data within hours. The slow peer review process was bypassed as findings were posted to emergency bulletin boards accessed by researchers worldwide. Weather delays at any major facility could leave critical gaps in the timeline potentially missing behavioral changes that might occur within hours rather than the typical timescales of astronomical evolution. The scientific community fractured into three camps as researchers struggled to explain the fragment's impossible behavior.
Each theory predicted vastly different outcomes for Mars mission safety, transforming academic debate into life or death policy decisions. The thermal fracturing camp, led by conservative comet specialists, argued that 3I Atlas contained exotic ice compositions forged in interstellar cold. Even modest solar heating could trigger subsurface phase transitions, creating internal pressures that drove both the split and continued acceleration through directed venting. Plausible, cautious, safe to believe. Harvard's Avi Loeb championed a far more controversial explanation. Undetected gravitational sources, possibly dark matter concentrations or rogue planetary masses, had disrupted the nucleus through invisible tidal forces. His team's calculations required objects that current surveys couldn't detect, but were capable of fracturing an interstellar visitor with surgical precision. The astronomy establishment bristled at Loeb's willingness to invoke exotic physics without direct evidence. The third faction terrified everyone. Materials scientists at Caltech proposed that 3I Atlas represented an entirely new class of interstellar object composed of metastable exotic matter. Molecular configurations stable only in deep space could undergo spontaneous reconfiguration when exposed to solar radiation, releasing stored energy that powered the fragment's acceleration while fundamentally altering its chemistry in real time. If true, the fragment wasn't just debris, it was actively transforming. Emergency peer review sessions conducted over secure video conferences became battlegrounds. The thermal faction demanded spectroscopic observations to map volatile distributions. Loeb's team pushed for deep sky surveys to locate their hypothetical gravitational perturber. The exotic matter theorists pressed for high energy observations that might detect signature radiation from matter phase transitions never before witnessed. The stakes transcended academic reputation. Each theory predicted different structural stability levels, with implications ranging from harmless dispersing debris to objects that could undergo further dramatic changes without warning. Mission planners made critical safety decisions based on incomplete data and competing frameworks that had never been tested against reality. When preliminary James Webb Space Telescope observations arrived, they supported aspects of all three theories while validating none completely. The fragment exhibited signs of thermal processing, gravitational disturbance, and anomalous material properties simultaneously, suggesting the truth involved mechanisms current science couldn't integrate. As the fragment continued its approach toward Mars, researchers realized they were witnessing phenomena that challenged fundamental assumptions about how matter behaves when it travels between stars. The Atlas split didn't just change Mars mission planning, it changed humanity's relationship with the void. From now on, we know interstellar space doesn't just visit, it interferes. Every future Mars mission must now account for debris traveling at velocities that make conventional shielding useless. The fragment's unpredictable behavior has forced engineers to develop risk models, incorporating physics that didn't exist in textbooks six months ago. Current detection systems, optimized for predictable solar system objects, proved inadequate for tracking rapidly evolving interstellar visitors. The emergency response revealed how quickly academic research must shift to operational concerns when deep space begins affecting human activities. As 3I Atlas and its mysterious companion fade toward the outer solar system, they leave behind questions that may never be answered. The exotic materials, unexpected fragmentation mechanisms, and non-gravitational behaviors documented during their passage prove our models of interstellar objects remain fundamentally incomplete. We thought we understood the universe beyond our solar system. We thought interstellar visitors were predictable, inert chunks of ice and rock that would pass through quietly. 3I Atlas taught us otherwise. And somewhere in the vast darkness between stars, other visitors are already on their way.